What's going on guys, the Mac over here, Sankan Sunan Custom, like always a pleasure to have you guys back. Happy New Year guys, I know it's been a minute, things have changed a little bit. I salute all of y'all in the channel, they have subscribed, like and comment. And um, yeah, we're starting the year good. Right now it sounds like a whole bunch of viewers in the back, show you guys what I'm up to for once again. Alright boys, it's that time of the year, show you guys real quick. A little bit what I'm up to right now. I'm sanding off the paint, the primer on the track belt series, on the K series hatch, just to give you guys a closer look of how much I was done on the sanders and how well they came out. I'm sending the hatch to get painted. I'm painting it again for one since that year they get pumped up and motivated. So yeah, for those that are new into the channel, this is how you widen your front end custom. Barely put any bundle. So let's get that clear, boys. You know, you're trying to tell me, I don't know, you know, I see it in your hash, in your channel. Well, I could show you, my boys, nothing that high. Burly body work. So I'm sending it off, you know what I'm saying? So that I could see, well, maybe when I did it, almost a year and a half ago, too. You know what I'm saying? So it'll be new layers again of primer, new, uh, even if I gotta put a little filling of fiberglass again in some spots. These are DIY in the channel for you guys to check them out when I build them. So I got like a little couple of high spots that were throwing through the paint that were bothering me. So that's what we're gonna address today. Take care of them. And hopefully throw them in the back, in the hatch, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, even though I got custom, uh, OEM fenders right now in the hatch. When I get it, I get set, set, get same for paint. I'm gonna get the paint. I'm gonna get the fenders painted as well, the OEM, and I'm gonna have the track fenders matching. So if I ever wanna take the fenders out and just not have the racing look for the track, I could just put the original OEM fenders. All right, let's come back to this. Let's get it. So it's that season again. And um, we're working on my uh, DIY custom fenders. I did this fender, to be honest, about two years ago. I got them in videos in the channel. Um, but when I did them, no excuses, you know what I mean? I did that I could or whatever. Every time I kept painting them, I keep seeing like high spots and low spots and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? But they came out great. So I think, you know, that's the whole look in the car. So show you guys what I picked up to fix them up. And we're going to throw these back on with the bumper, you know what I'm saying? When I was sick, that's the, the look on her. Not to mention, I'm changing the color on the hatch itself. So, I'm just prepping the car, getting it ready in primer. For when the time comes, I'm going to take her to, you know, get her painted. New color again, new look, so I'm doing the body work. And when I do go, I'm taking the OEM fenders, the factory fenders. So I got fenders when I want to stock. And the white and front end look for when I go racing into the, the track. So, let's get it. All right, boys. So, we got icing over here. You get this at your local... Um, Body chop supplier. It's about 36, 40 dollars in chain. Picked up some new spreaders. 
about two dollars. So we're gonna use this to fill in and whatever little high spots. You know, you see I banged them in with a hammer. That was my mistake before. But you see this is all solid. It was all solid glass cloth, you know what I'm saying? I do gonna put one whole layer even and sand it. So that way you don't you don't see no bumps and everything is nice and straight. This has been strong for the longest I did it, you know what I'm saying? So I'm pumped. The bumper was already uh well, you know, to the fender, so somebody just doing the little body work here again, making it most perfect we can. Uh, when we laid on primer, we laid the new color, you know, just look like OEM brand new, you know what I'm saying? I just love that white intro, uh, track look. And it's a custom thing that we could do via, uh, DIY at home, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, just to show you guys that Burnley Pubando in it, when I did it, that I extended it. You know, the pieces that I extended it, welded with the fiberglass, I barely put in the fiberglass. So like this little spot, so here we're going to fill it up, you know what I'm saying? So they don't show in the paint a little bit. Like little 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 spots. This time it's gonna look sick. It's gonna look perfect. The only thing I gotta touch up. We're doing the body work on the hatch, so I'll show you what she look like. And you know that's the best way to start in 2022. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna get off right out the back, taking care of them cars, them bills, and doing the advice at home. So let's get it. All right. So me and my boy we're working on my girl Sierra B. This is the one that she takes me when the shit hit this bat. You know what I'm saying? She just always drive. That's the one that we need. So. We're doing a quick fix up on her car. Well, they went to get their shit anyway. We'll go over what's going on with the uh, track bill hash, of course. Oh, yeah, see, the snow, the snow has been slowing me down. Usually I keep this clean, but working 48 to 60 hours a week now, it's kind of hard. We'll, we'll see what's up with the hatch. Oh, I feel like it's been a minute. But I finally got all my tools organized, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> I got tools, open tools. Thinking about buying a, another drawer just to get more tools on top of this. So, there's no reason I can do it on my own mechanics. Usually when they come, they use my tools. <laughs> Not how many tools I got. But, um, yeah. See what's up with the hatch and some bill and bill and bill. Well, took out the sticker the other day, ripped out the paint. You know what I'm saying? The same over here. So that's what led me to uh, just repaint painter. But she doesn't need anybody work. You know what I'm saying? It's our new fenders, everything solid. There's no rust in her. We just painted it last year and the year before that we painted it. And it was brand new quarters. Uh, however, if I see any little stuff right now, you know, I'll touch it up. But yeah, pretty much uh, I gotta take her apart again, take out the wing. Also, we talk about the wing. These wings, I make them for sale custom. MD Fabs. They are $200 a piece. It cost me $110 the material, but they come with the wrap bars included, or the hardware bolts. Uh, they're gonna say MD Fabs. Um, yeah. I could do one for EKs, and I'm gonna do one for EFs, and I'm gonna try to do it for sedans as well. Just give me some time on that. I just made a page. It's called Second to None Concepts. Second to None underscore concepts underscore, underscore stickers on Instagram. Please check it out. That's what I'm pretty much going to be uh, posting. Like whatever we got in the channel, whether it's our decals, if we make shirts. Uh, in this case, I'm going to be making custom diffusers for sale. So keep an eye out for that this year. We're fabricating our own parts. Um, hopefully, the next videos. I show you guys how to make your own diffusers at home if you buy the aluminum from like a local Ace Hardware or even Home Depot and just build it. But I'm going to make my own designs and I'm going to hold it down and I'm going to sell them for mad cheap. If people want to get them already done, you know, I'm going to have them wrapped carbon fiber. I'm going to have them black polish, whatever the choice. About 60 a pair because they're going to be not like mine. There's one piece, pretty much the two pieces left and right. You know what I mean? And they're going to be the slimmer version for those people that want a cleaner bumper where I have to cut so much bumper out. And it still looks sexy and crazy nice. But, yeah. That's my goals, man. I got to take out everything pretty much again. This fender's going to keep on full. Because when I send her the paint, I'm going to match the paint to the OEM uh, fenders as well. For when I don't want to rock the track build look. And when I look OEM, all I got to do is swap fenders. And that's it. Kind of like right now. But I want to rock the three-piece front end again. That's why I'm doing the body work. Because, yeah, I see him. I told you, you know, how she was looking. I don't know, man. I'd rather get another bumper. I kind of don't want to take out those stickers and shit out of memories. 
case I ever get an EG coupe. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to leave that, that last minute thing. Where it comes to words, I have to buy a brand new hood like Defenders, they know and stuff like that. I'll do that. The same with the doors. Kind of don't want to take out the wrap because of the gun in stickers. So who knows? I might just hold back and see if I buy some doors from a coupe or another hatch and just replace them. But um, everything's got to come off, man. So this, this whole month, I'm going to be working on her, blogging a little bit on how much progress we've done. I got to strip her back out outside, take out the dashboard, the shifter, the chair, steering wheel, the bars in the bags. Got to come out, the fuel cell, pretty much everything, the windows, rear door. Because if I paint it again now, you know, I want to paint the inside matching to the outside. So, yeah, we got a lot of work, boys. So at least just taking it apart and taking things apart just to prep them inside and stuff like that. The motor's got to definitely come out. Motor mounts, cash can, uh, stabilizer bar in the front. Even the radiator support is coming out because I don't want to paint. I want to keep it black, you know, factory. Like I want her to look clean. So color we're going to paint her. It's going to be a uh, SI blue off of a Civic, um, a 2000 Civic. That's an SI. The Electron Blue, I believe. So, you know, the whole month I'm just going to be working on it after this video. You know what I'm saying? Uh, please don't forget we have a giveaway. Free entry giveaway for 100 sub subscribers. And we passed that, guys. 185 subscribers deep. I appreciate every single one of y'all for supporting the channel. Y'all more than my friends. Um, yeah, I'm doing a free giveaway. February 28th on my Instagram page. It's called Second to None underscore concepts underscore stickers. Again, second to none underscore concepts underscore stickers. All you have to do is take a picture, proving that you in my page in Instagram, I mean, uh, in YouTube, that you follow me, that you subscribe, and just simply uh, like and comment if you like, you know what I'm saying? But in order to participate for the free entry, you have to give me your name and a picture of you following me in YouTube in the channel, in the Mad Doctor production. That's all it takes for the free entry. February 28 at 7 o'clock on Instagram Live, I'm going to go and I'm going to make a drawing, a live drawing, and I'm going to pick the names of those that participated. We're going to get a free entry to participate, and we're going to do a live drawing right there. First prize is going to be $100. Second prize is going to be $50. Third prize, $35. Altogether, $185, and that's due to 185 subscribers. All right? Thank you for your support. I appreciate you. Love and loyalty, and peace.
look nice and straight this time. We see the edge. No bonds. Like a little low spot here and a little spot here. So no sense on just digging sanding down. Just gonna put a little filler there in there. And that's it. That should be ready for prime. Let's get it. Alright, so we find another FedEx up. A little bit of old spot that I've seen. This fender 99% perfect. You don't see no dents. Everything is perfect, I made sure this time. Pretty much just letting it dry. I'm gonna sand it. The next time we'll be on the quarry prime, show you guys what the process look like. Pretty much step by step, little by little. Fill it in. Fix it yourself with how you do a DIY DIY track front end, wider front end. So get it. Hey boys. So we're back. This is the one fender we were working on. I wanna show you really close the detail on it. This is a spot that I fixed here. A spot that I fixed here that was low. And a spot that I fixed here. This is already dry, you just gotta sand it. But check out that border. The line on that edge at some point. No dent. Follow me. You want that sand that? That's the good thing out of biasing. You can sand it quicker with many layers you need. And they're gonna come out sweet, man. Like I said, I gotta sand that there and there. This fender, almost done. Gonna wet sand it, and then I'm gonna prime it. Leave it ready. I'm taking the bottom part, I'm gonna rewrap it. This is how it looked roughly, without sanding it. So you sort of gotta cover everything, but you gotta go heavy in the spot where you don't want it to be low, you know what I'm saying? I did that by hand, as you guys seen. I didn't want to use the machine, because the machine it takes it too fast. Sometimes it's better to do it freehand, just so you gotta feel with your fingers, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna feel the indents, what's, what's right, you know what I mean? If it moves, it's gonna feel smooth, you're gonna feel it with your, your hands automatically. With the machine, it's really hard to catch that, but they look good though. So we're gonna wrap it up with this one, boys. Till the next time, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Peace.